Hello, and welcome to another Great Car Basic training set of videos. Uh, this training set of video is going to focus on the LG T8 XM chip family from um, Logic Green. Uh, these are uh, chips that are very similar to PIX and um, AVR. They're uh, now fully supported by Great Car Basic. So I'm going to take you through a series of videos to get you up to speed. So what are they? I'm going to take you through, sorry, I'm going to take you through um, 18 different videos over the next um, week or so to get you up to speed, show you what these um, chips can do. So um, let's just have a quick look at what these um, chips are. They look like uh, regular little chips and uh, they're, uh, they come in different formats and forms, but essentially they come with um, the, the LGT chips on PCBs. They come with USB drivers. As you can see, this is a Nano and an Uno type board. And um, they do come um, uh, from, from China and uh, you can get them off uh, most of the uh, retailers that are around there. So let's have a look what I've got. I've got, um, I've got one of these. This is um, a Nano. Uh, and I've got uh, hooked. I've got. I can show you this one later on. We, we will be using this in the training, which is a Nuno. But this is the focus. This is where I'm, I'm going to be using this sort. So it's got a um, USB input here. It's got the um, USB chip. It's got the actual physical LGT chip and a switch. Um, and that's a reset switch, I think. Yes, it is. Um, I'm wearing a um, strap here, so I can handle these things. Um, but we're going to be looking at this today and we're going to make this thing work. OK, all right. So let's go back into PowerPoint and, and, and just do a quick summary, a walkthrough. So we're actually going to use the Nano and we're going to add, add on to it a series of LEDs and resistors and capacitors and buzzers and other um, inputs and outputs so that we can try the capabilities of this um, nano board okay and it's at the heart of it the LTT LGT chip so what we're going to be using is the great cow um, basic compiler uh, and now it now that it supports it and I will be showing you you can use alternatives there are Arduinos and there's another IDE from um, Logic Green themselves I will show you that at the latter part but I'm going to focus on the great cow basic compiler so let's um Let's get um, up and running. Let's let's have a quick bit of fun and, and um, have a look what's actually going on. So if I look, if I go to my desktop here, um, I've got my editor, and this editor is the Great Car Basic editor. Um, it's extremely uh, simple. Um, you install the software, and you'll end up at this screen. Okay. Um, the version that you need it has to be in uh, October or later 2020. Uh, to get this support but essentially it's a, a an, an editor that allows you to program uh, that chip um, that's flashing away there and we're going to do that in a few moments so how do we go about doing that well it's extremely simple we're going to do a handful of things and um, make that to make it all happen so the first thing we do is we go you're going to have to connect up the um uh, the the nano or whatever you're going to be using and get that uh, connected via the USB. We just need to connect that up to its bootloader. And we're going to, to do that, we are going to be using AVR Dude GUI. So I've just clicked on that and it's brought it up on the screen here. Now, um, this is has not been set up. So I just need to select uh, three parameters to figure out um, what to do. So I'm going to select the Arduino bootloader. I am going to guess it's on com five and the power rate is five seven six six five seven six zero zero and i've guessed it's on five and then i'm going to press the detect button and if it responds it told it, with this um uh, detected uh, signal then i know i'm on com five let me just press that again and if you look at the video you will see that the little um little device over here actually flashes when it does the detect so it, it says it's on com5 i'm going to close that now i know it's on com5 in great car basic before i write a piece of code i just need to set that programmer up so i'm going to go into edit my preferences and you'll get the preferences screen up uh, the preferences screen looks like this and i'm just going to click on the lgt and i'm going to move it to the top because that's the one i'm going to be using i'm going to edit it and i'm going to set that to it was already set to com5 
COM5, and, it's, and the rest of it is all set up. You just have to t tell it where, where it's going to be programming. So if I go back to the, um, if I go back to the, just the um, editor now, here we go. This is the empty program, or the program that was created when we installed. I'm just going to comment out that particular chip, and I'm going to select an LGT. And that is all the changes we need to make because um, it's already got the LED set up for you. Uh, this is the port where it sits, and I'm just going to go to the top and press flash and hex. It will flash, and as you can see, it has done something, and it's reloaded a file, which I didn't realize was open. And if we look at the lab now, we can see that the LED is flashing. Well, there we go. It's flashing. Well, what we need to do, is actual fact, is do some, um, have some fun with it. Let's change this to two seconds. We'll change that to one second. So I'm just changing the parameters. Two seconds and one second. I'm going to press compile up. It compiles. And you can see that I've actually changed the pulse on that um, chip. So we have, we have now successfully connected up the USB, detected the chip using AVR Dude GUI. We've set up the parameters inside of Great Car Basic to program it. We changed the chip, job done. So what we've done is flashed it. Well, it's also generating for you um, because one of the beauties of Great Car Basic, it generates assembler and that assembler is valid across a whole series of other compilers that you can use, okay? Um, but however, we generate the required files for you in terms of a list file and hex file, but we have essentially programmed that chip. So let's just um, have a little bit more fun and we'll change that to um, 10 milliseconds and we'll change this one to 100 milliseconds. It will go down to nanoseconds, of course. Great Car Basic in the background is doing all the calculations for you. Now you can see that the LED is on most of the time. So that was a bit of a pointless demonstration. Let's just put 100 milliseconds in there and you should see it on that camera. There we go. What I wanted to show you today is connect connections, how you get it connected and put one program in via the bootloader. Go back out to PowerPoint and do the summary. I think we've achieved that today. It's a very simple um, configuration to um, uh, get the um, chip up and running. Um, the uh, next step will be to go into the videos and uh, to go deeper into the uh, videos themselves. And we will be going back to these videos in terms of tomorrow. We'll be going through making the LED flash with three little programs and walking through um, different levels of capabilities as we go through the next 18 videos. Enjoy.